Good morning, everyone. My name is Father Carl Chudy from Fatima Shrine, and here we are with another installment of our ecumenical uh, message series, spiritual message series. To, uh, my um, theme for today is which appointment were you born to keep? What does that mean? As you know, in this, these uncertain times, even though we're moving to phase three, and which is great, that means uh, we're moving forward little by the little. We're still in the middle of a pandemic. And of course, with um, all the things going on with the renewed civil rights movement and Black Lives Move, uh, Matter movement. Uh, so there's a lot going on. And I don't know about you, but in, in at Fatima Shrine, we're trying to put together the 2021 budget. And we're saying to ourselves, we need to rethink the future <laughs> because uh, it's going to be very different than it was in the past. And uh, th you might find this to be the, the case for yourselves as well, you know, with your families, your work place, uh, st studies, school. I mean, there's a lot of things that will be changing. And I guess the whole point of this is as we discern our true call in these uncertain times, we pray for wisdom to know when to let go of what we have known and when to move toward something new, something that's not easy to do. I'd like to start with a poem, if you don't mind, by uh, Mark Nepo. What if on the first sunny day on your way to work, a colorful bird sweeps in front of you down a street you've never heard of. You might pause and smile, a sweet beginning to your day. You might sense the bird knows something you don't and wander after. You might hesitate when the bird turns down an alley. For now, there is a tension. Is what the bird knows worth being late? You might go another block or two, thinking you could have it both ways. But soon you arrive at the edge of your plans. The bird circles back to you, and you must decide which appointment you were born to keep. Our call in these times include working to see the deep invitation that the pandemic and the social unrest are providing each of us. How might we be conscious of the transformation occurring within ourselves, our communities, the nation, and the global community as we live through this time? Reflecting and perhaps journaling with the following questions, and if possible, engaging in some kind of contemplative dialogue, if that's something you do, it may be one of the most important contributions we make in these challenging times, perhaps. Let me ask you this question. Number one, is there a new path that you feel drawn to as you consider your response to the challenges of these times? Describe your perceptions of that path. What keeps you attentive to the messengers of God, those speaking sweet words of invitation? The scripture is from the prophet Isaiah. 
Your ears will hear sweet words behind you. Go this way. There is your path. This is how you should go. Whenever you must decide whether to turn to the right or to the left. The 30th chapter, verse 21. Let us pray. May we go forward with eyes and ears, attentive to all the signs and directions that point to us the path we might be called to walk in these days and months. And we ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord.